Welcome back to the channel, Racer X here. And today I wanted to put together a little video about something that has been on my mind for quite a while. We see all of the news all over the place about different cars that are leaving us in 2023. We know we've got this huge transition to EVs and hybrids happening right now. And as I look, more and more of the cars that we all know, that we all love, we're all familiar with these, uh, they're going away. So today I'm gonna put together a little list for you of all of the really cool cars, at least the ones I've found, that are going away in the 2023 model year or going into 2024. A little bit of a depressing list, but it is important that we understand what all is going away. So today I will tell you all about it. If you're brand new to my channel, please do me a big gigantic favor and hit subscribe and off we go. So the topic of this particular video is a little bit weird for me, but I feel like it is important because it's pretty glaring when you look at the list that I've compiled right here of all of the amazing cars that are going to be leaving us essentially this year moving into next year. And uh, it is really kind of a changing of the guard and everything has sort of come full circle when you talk about the automotive community in general, right? I mean, it's like you saw in the 80s, everything kind of started going smaller displacement, considerably less power. And now here we are all the way up in 2023 and we were kind of seeing the same sort of thing. We're not going down in power, but displacement's going down and we're replacing everything with EVs and with uh, with hybrid technology. And so while that may be a more modern way to go for your traditional uh, enthusiast, maybe it is not ideal. So I've compiled a whole list of cars right here all in one place so you know what we'll be leaving in uh, 2023 going into 2024. Now do keep in mind, this is not a full comprehensive list, but I did do quite a bit of research and I tried to find uh, a bunch of cars that I felt like the automotive enthusiast community would be interested in. So you've got a lot of other smaller, you know, cars out there, compact SUVs, some of that stuff is going away as well. I didn't really feel like it was noteworthy for the purposes of this particular video, but a lot of noteworthy stuff here. So first of all, the Chrysler 300. Uh, after a really long run with the Chrysler 300, one of Chrysler's sort of flagship sedan vehicles, uh, the Chrysler 300 looks like it's going to be going away in 2023 or after the 2023 model year. We know Dodge is undergoing a huge transformation right now, and it is a little bit weird to see the Chrysler 300 going away considering Chrysler as a company uh, only makes two different offerings, right? They make a minivan in the Pacifica and they make the 300. Well, if the 300 goes away, then what's Chrysler gonna do? It's just a bit of a weird thing. So unless something weird happens and Chrysler comes out with something else, uh, which I've not heard anything about, they've just been kind of lurking in the shadows. It looks like if you are a Chrysler 300 lover, this is your last opportunity, 2023, to get one of those cars before they go away. An iconic thing uh, that we're seeing sort of go off in the distance. Next on my list is our beloved Chevy Camaro. And we've been hearing about the Camaro go away for a long time. We know that obviously they had a redesign in the Camaro and the sales of the Camaro just kind of went down and then we had COVID and that didn't help anything either. But uh, the Camaro still a really cool platform. I've heard rumors and I've actually put a video about the fact that Camaro may be its own brand moving into 2025 and they may offer like an SUV EV version of the Camaro, which would really be weird to see. But as far as we know, in 2023, as a matter of fact, I even wrote it down, I believe it's in August of 2023, we'll see the last uh, Camaro as we know it roll off the production line. I believe they will have a very limited edition uh, of like 2024, so just a few 2024s, but they'll be made in 2023. But after that, it looks like uh, if you're a Camaro fan, you might be screwed because I don't believe any more of those things are gonna be rolling off the assembly line unless they change a lot of stuff. Maybe the Camaro will come out later with a hybrid power plant, but right now, nothing in the, in the works on that as far as I know, and it's a shame to see something as iconic as the Chevy Camaro go away, but that's where we're headed. Now, the next one on my list is the Acura NSX. And I absolutely loved the first generation NSX. I actually just saw one on the road the other day and they still look pretty cool even after all of this time. But the second generation NSX 
came out as a V6 hybrid, uh, had two electric motors, a pretty formidable car. I thought a pretty good looking car, but the sales on that car were never really what uh, the company had intended them to be. They feel like the juice just isn't worth the squeeze on the NSX. So uh, they just didn't sell enough units to make it worth it. And then 2023, the last of the NSXs will come out and then they will be gone. So from 2015 to 2023, we saw that limited production. They never really made very many, just the sales didn't justify it. Just not quite enough interest in that uh, newly revised car. So that's it for the NSX, kind of a bummer. Now this next one really does sting. I was a little uh, surprised actually to find this one out but the Audi R8 will be discontinued in 2023. This is a car that has been out forever, that iconic Iron Man car, same power plant you get in a Lamborghini Huracan if you get the V10. Um, I mean, just a fantastic car, very cool interior on this, a real supercar. And uh, we're seeing these, you know, these big, uh, the V10s, we're seeing the V12s, all that kind of stuff, they're all going away. So to see the R8 after all of these years, go away. It just, oh, it's so hard to think about. But uh, yeah, 2023 is it on the R8, on to other things. This next one is also a little bit hard to stomach. After six model years, the Ford GT is going away. And of course, this is a throwback to the original race car that just went out there and dominated for a long time. I mean, just what a very cool, iconic car. I love the lines on a Ford GT. If you've ever seen one in person, uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. They are unbelievably striking in terms of the way they look. Um, just a truly amazing design on that car. It, just like I said, it, it's all the heritage built into it, all that kind of stuff. Guess what? 2023, you will see no more Ford GTs. It is a huge bummer there. Now this next one is a little bit of a quirky car, but I actually had the chance to drive one of these and it surprised me quite a bit. It's actually quite a bit of fun to drive. And it is the Hyundai Veloster N. Yes, this little joker, a little pocket rocket, a ton of fun to drive. And uh, they really didn't make it for all that long. But uh, if you're into like that hatchback segment, the hot hatches, if you will, uh, this is a big loss for that particular segment. The Veloster N in 2023, it's going to go away. So uh, what do you do? Now, along those same lines, uh, I actually own one of these, had it on the channel for a little while, and this car was a ton of fun to drive. Not really my traditional type of content, but I really did enjoy it. It is the Subaru WRX STI. So both the WRX and the STI, the, uh, the, old, the old Subaru, right? The all-wheel drive, uh, darty little sucker. The STI is going away in 2023. So get them while you can, guys. Um, if you're a fan of that really small, kind of sporty segment, you love the manual throws, uh, the STI, it should be right up your alley. But unfortunately, this is kind of your last chance to get one, and uh, they're going away. Now this next one just absolutely kills me. It is one of the most iconic cars, one of my favorite cars that's ever been built. And uh, this one maybe stings me more than just about any of these on this list. It is the Lamborghini Aventador. Yes, in 2023, our beloved Aventador, it's done. So uh, you will no longer be seeing Aventadors be rolling off the assembly line. Of course, they made you know, the SV and the SVJ, and they had different versions of it. Matter of fact, all the way up to this last one, which was the uh, the LP 780-4 uh, Ultimate, I believe is how it's pronounced. They only made 60 of those things, so good luck getting one. But I mean, what an iconic, beautiful car, amazing sounding V12 in this. Like I said, guys, this one is right at the top of the list in terms of cars I would absolutely love to own, dream cars of mine. Well, uh, a bummer, it's going away. And uh, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, in addition, the Lamborghini Countach, they only made that for one model year. Of course, this was a very, I, I call it a light hybrid. This one did have a little bit of hybrid technology built into it. Um, 802 horsepower, the Countach, but we knew it was gonna be very limited production in only one model year. But once again, that's two more iconic Lamborghinis that we will no longer see after 2023. Now this next one was a little bit of a surprise, but I felt like it was at least worth mentioning because it's an entire class. The Mercedes-Benz A-Class. I mean, they brought it to us, at least in the US, in 2019, but it just didn't do all that well here. It's a, basically, when you talk about the luxury segment, 
Most people don't want small and luxury in the same car. Uh, there have been several articles written about this, but essentially Mercedes just decided, look, it's really not worth doing at this point. Uh, they decided that, look, the small luxury segment just, it really isn't there for buyers. They want something a little bigger. So the A-Class Mercedes in 2023, it will be going away. Now this next one, I feel like I should at least mention it just because it is such an iconic car, but the Bugatti Chiron, 1500 horsepower Chiron, right? 16 cylinders, four turbos, all of the good stuff. Um, yes, they are unbelievably expensive. They're extremely rare, all of that good stuff. But Bugatti is going away from the 16 cylinder engines, the four turbos, all of it. They did away with a matter of fact, the last Chiron actually rolled off the assembly line, I believe last year. So you will no longer be seeing those built, not that they built that many in the first place. And uh, I'm told by several sources that Bugatti, even the mighty Bugatti will be going to hybrid technology coming up here very soon in their next model. That is a weird thing to think about. Now this next one did catch me off guard quite a bit because uh, in my mind, this was one of the winners of that segment. But the Nissan Maxima in 2023 or after 2023, it's going away. But here's the thing, the auto industry, as I mentioned, it is shifting, right? So the sedans of the world are becoming fewer and fewer and fewer. They just don't sell. Everybody's going to these crossovers now, these small SUVs. That is what's selling, car companies know it. So even something like the Maxima, which is like the fastest car in the entire world. If you've ever seen Maximas going down the road for some odd reason, they're all capable of doing like 240 miles an hour. At least the drivers all seem to think so. It's kind of a long-standing car community joke, but uh, it is weird to see that they're going away from the Nissan Maxima. So after 2023, it'll be a different fastest car in the world. Now, along those same lines, the Kia Stinger, the Stinger GT. And I actually really like this car. I thought it made for an absolutely perfect daily. Um, it kind of offered a very unique blend of sort of a luxury European type feel with a lot of sporty power, 368 horsepower. But I guarantee you, if you've ever driven a Kia Stinger GT or a GT1 or a GT2, um, those cars definitely punch well above their weight with that uh, that six cylinder turbo. I mean, it, it just really was a fun car to drive, all wheel drive. So it handled great in all sorts of weather, all that kind of stuff. It was really one of the best sedans on the market, at least in my mind. Well, guess what? Uh, the Kia Stinger is going away after 2023. That one is a little bit weird to uh, think about as well. Now, if you consider yourself to be a true car enthusiast, this next one will sting quite a bit. It is the Nissan GTR. And yeah, I realize not everybody's an import person, but if, you just, if you're an enthusiast at all, you have to respect the GTR. This car has been out there doing its thing for the longest time. If you've ever raced one on the street, you realize how formidable they are because of their all-wheel drive system, very advanced. Um, and I tell you what, that Turbo 6 in that thing really put the Godzilla car on the map. Um, there are so many great things I could say about the Nissan GTR. Yes, right now it's probably a little outdated because they've been running that same exact design for forever seemingly. But guess what? In 2023, it's coming to an end. And uh, man, I hate to think about that. I was kind of hoping we would see a revised uh, version of the GTR, which who knows, maybe that will still happen, but I guarantee if it comes back, it's probably gonna be a hybrid uh, because that's what everybody's going to now. And I just don't know if it's gonna have the same sort of uh, like panache and flair. If you've ever been to an event like 2K, some of the fastest street cars in the world, uh, you see nothing but GTRs, it seems like. It's like GTR world down there. And uh, people just go crazy with those things. And it's just weird to stomach the fact that the GTR will no longer be around. But after 2023, that's gonna be the case. Now this next one's not quite as big of a bummer, but at least it's noteworthy. The Mustang S550. And of course, Ford has sold like a zillion of these. Obviously, that's what this is right here behind me. Um, we know how much these cars love boost. I mean, gosh, what an iconic car the S550 Mustang was. Sold a zillion of them. There's a ton of Mustang people running around. People love this car. But uh, after 2023, going into 2024, it's going away. But the good news about that is they reintroduced their S650 Mustang and they've already showed us three trims that they're gonna have. They're probably gonna come out with a Shelby and some other cool stuff as well. So all is not lost if you're a Mustang fan, but just be mindful of the fact that 2023 is your last year to get one that looks like this. And of course, last but most definitely not least 
and this is a really hard pill to swallow for almost all of my viewers out there. It is our beloved Charger and Challenger, uh, certainly the Hellcat. The Hellcat, the Hemi, it's all going away after this model year. We've heard Dodge talk about it at length. The 2023 are, you know, they're the last call versions, which means that if you love, whether it's the 5.7, the 6.4, any variant of the Hellcat, it is all going away moving into the 2024 model year. So if you love Chargers, you love Challengers in their current form, uh, well, this is your last chance to get it, guys. So it, this is the hardest one to talk about. Uh, in addition, you've got things like the TRX in 2023. That's going away. The Trackhawk, because these are all Hellcat-equipped uh, vehicles. The same with the SRT8 versions of those cars, all going away. We saw the Durango Hellcat come back for 2023, as we know. That's one model year, uh, and then it's going away. So anything that has to do with the current version of the Hemis, guys, that power plant is going away. Now, the Rams, we're probably going to see something that looks similar to the current Ram. Uh, we do see an EV Ram that just came out, but um, you know, in terms of the power plant that's gonna go in it, fully expect to see either a hybrid or a Hurricane, which is, of course, the turbo inline six that they're uh, hyping up so much right now. But uh, yeah, the Hellcat, guys, that is that iconic engine came out in 2015 in both the Charger and the Challenger. No longer a thing. We've talked about it at length, but man, this is a really big deal. Now, will they come out with a revised Challenger? I've talked about it a little bit. I do think they will, but it will not be a V8 powered Challenger. It's just not going to happen. So if you love V8s, this one is the hardest pill to swallow. And uh, guys, most Mostly everybody out there is aware of it, but this, of course, definitely took uh, uh, some time to adjust to. It will take some time to adjust to, and I definitely had to mention that last. So that about does it for my list of the cars that are going away in 2023, going into 2024. A pretty good size list, and uh, if you are a true performance enthusiast, this one definitely hurts more than a little bit because some of the most iconic cars that we've had out for quite some time, they're all going the way of the wind. We're seeing hybrid technology kind of creep up into all of these new offerings. And not to say that it's bad, but it is most definitely different. And the way we have kind of come to appreciate a lot of these, uh, you know, these cars over the past 10, 15, 20 years in some instances, um, it's all changing. So lots of cars to think about. So if you want one of these 2023, <laughs> it is a, a weird year, 2023. So you better make sure you get your order on the books, find you a used version of it, whatever you need to do, because in 2024, the landscape of the car community is going to look completely different. So anyway, guys, that's about it from me for this one. I would love to hear your comments down below and I will catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.